welcome guys to the Passive Investing Channel, where we talk about stocks, dividends, real estate, anything financial, anything that can get you ahead in life. That's my goal, is to get you to be moving forward, taking steps forward, not backwards. The goal is to make money. In life, we work hard, we go to school, get the education, and it's just to make, and the goal is just to make money. Basically, I want to, basically I'm a dividend investor. So any stocks I buy, pay dividends. If they don't pay a dividend, I don't buy it. Because I like to get, earn money on my money. You put the money in a bank, most likely you'll get 1% one, 1 interest, which probably won't get you anywhere. The stock market is known to give about 10% a year. So today, we're going to get into stocks that you need to buy right now. I'm going to give you five stocks that are must-buys and should be bought right now. The first one we're going to get into is a stock car called... Hormel, HRL. I'm not sure if many of people have heard of it, but it's a, a stock, a lot of stocks, the five stocks I'm going to be talking about are stocks that are in the supermarkets. Stocks that are pandemic proof, recession proof, and stocks that own com a lot of companies that you buy or, and there are in 99% of the households. So we're going, we're talking about Harmel Foods. So Harmel, um, their symbol, ticker symbol is HRL. And they give about a 1.8% dividend. And the share cost is about $49 a share, which isn't too bad. So some of the companies, Hormel owns, they have Chi Chi's, which is salsa, uh, Skippy, which is peanut butter. I know everyone loves peanut butter. Dinty Moore, which is beef stew. Spam, uh, Stag Chili, Jenny O, which is like, uh, I think, turkey sausages, and a few other things, you know, like Valley Fresh. So, this company owns many different companies that you get in the supermarket. So I definitely don't see them going anywhere. Second stock I'm going to get into is Conagra. I know a lot of people haven't heard of Conagra. They pay about a 2.2% dividend. And it costs about $37 a share. So basically Conagra... They have uh, many different things you can buy in the supermarket. Such as like the Hebrew National, which is hot dogs. Banquet, which is like frozen meals. Bertoli, frozen meals. Bird's Eye, which has like veggies. Hunger Man, which is another frozen dinners. They have Slim Jim. Swiss Miss, Snack Pack, Arvo's Redenbacher, which is popcorn, Duncan Hines, which is like cake mix and brownie mix. They have Hunt's Ketchup, Del Monte, which is like, uh, I think, canned fruit, Log Cabin Syrup, Miss Buttersworth, which is also syrup. Wishbone Salad Dressing, Chef Boyer D, and many other stuff. So this company owns many stuff that are definitely in your household. And I always say, buy what you eat. So I always say, um, with a stock, always get a stock that you, you're going to use. So if you're using... If you're eating, consuming the food, 
most likely that stock's going to be around because you keep buying that stuff. And if you're buying that stuff, someone else is buying that stuff. The third stock, which is another supermarket stock, that stuff you can find in the supermarket, is Campbell's Soup. The ticker symbol is CPB, and they pay a dividend of 2.8% yield, and it costs about $48 a share. So at Campbell's, they have a lot of brands you heard. V8, or the vegetable juice, Prego, Emeralds Nuts, Snyder's Pretzels, Cape Cod Chips, Pepper's Farm Goldfish and Milano's, Kettle One uh, Chips, of course Campbell's Soup, Farmhouse Breads, SpaghettiOs, Paste Salsa, and Swanson Chicken Broth. It's another company which is a buy now company which has many of the stuff that are going to be inside your household or many other households. This is a must buy in my opinion because anytime during pandemics or downturns in the economy, people are always buying food. No matter what's going on, people are always hitting the supermarkets. And this company has many of the things that you need to get by. The fourth company I want to get into is SJM, which is Smuckers. I'm not sure if most people know what Smuckers is. Their main brand is that uh, it's in a frozen section and it's like peanut butter, jelly, small sandwiches frozen together. But that's not the only thing this company has. Their ticker symbol is SJM and their dividend yield is 3.1% and it costs about $114 a share. This company has a, a lot of little smaller companies such as Jif, which is peanut butter, Folgers Coffee, everyone loves coffee, Dunkin' Donuts Coffee, Crisco Oil, Eagle Brand, uh, Canned Milk. They also have the Pillsbury and Hungry Jack. Also, they have some brands that you wouldn't believe that are for your pets. So, Meow Mix for the cats, Kibbles and Bits for the dogs, Milk Bone. Pepperoni, Gravy Train, Nature's Recipes, Nine Lies, which is a, another cat uh, food company. So this company owns many companies. And this is, uh, this is things everyone buys all the time. So the companies I'm giving you are stocks that people have in their houses, you know. This, the companies these stocks own are in everyone's houses. 99% of households. You can't go wrong with this. If you're worried about a stock failing, these are buy now stocks. The last stock I want to get into is my favorite. It's called a KHC ticker symbol. And it's the Kraft Heinz Company. Their dividend yield is about 5.2%. And their uh, share cost is about $30 a share. Kraft Heinz, they own a lot of things that I think everyone's heard of. Just to name a few, Bagel Bites. Those small little pizza bites in the frozen department. Smart Ones. Or Ida is frozen fries, Palio cheese, planters nuts, stovetop stuffing, Velveeta cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese, Maxwell House coffee, Oscar Mayer, the meats, Kraft macaroni and cheese, Mio, 
which you use to flavor your drinks. A1 steak sauce, Lunchables, Miracle Whip, Kraft dressing, and Kraft cheese. J E L L O, which is Jello, Breakstones, Kraft Mayo, Capri Sun, Clawson, which is the pickles, Cracker Barrel cheese, Cool Whip, Cheese Whiz. Crystal Light. This company has, I would say, so many things that we have inside our cupboard. So these are the five stocks that are buying out stocks. And I think everyone can agree these are these stocks own so many things that are at home and you just didn't know about it. So sometimes there are companies that you see, but you just don't know like what they own. What you know, if you knew a company owned a certain stock, you probably buy stock in it. So a lot of these companies, they're more in secret, so you don't hear about it. So you you um you see it in the supermarket, but it doesn't say Kraft. I'll say so. I'll say. Capri Sun. Because maybe if you said Kraft, you wouldn't buy it. So a lot of these companies I just gave you, they're super d diversified. So they don't only own one product, two products. They own maybe hundreds of different products. So if one product is uh, goes out, they still have so many others. And that's what you want. When you make a portfolio, of stocks. You don't want just five stocks. You want maybe 10, 15, 20 stocks. Why? Because if one goes down, you still have the other ones to diversify portfolio. So I say a lot of these companies, you can look at them as an ETF. Basically, they're companies that own many companies. And which we don't know about. So if you ever want to, these are ETFs, but they're not called ETFs. They're just companies that are super diversified and own many other smaller companies. I would look at these stocks as buy now stocks. These are stocks you can't, if two products go down, they still have their whole product line. So I hope, hopefully I enlightened some of you on some of these stocks. I, I thank you guys for coming to the channel. My goal is to get everyone winning. So hopefully we can get to, you know, get together and get to the top together. You just have to believe. Every dollar counts on your journey. Every dollar you spend somewhere else and not investing takes away from your long-term financial plan. You gotta just change your mentality. You gotta think positive, think win, think big, and we we can do it. And the goal in this channel is long term investing, not short term. Slow, steady wins the race. So let's all do it together and make it happen. Your success is my success. Thank you guys, and talk to you next time.